Well, we've come down to Alman Creameries today, and a special uh, guest from the UK, the Secretary of State, is being shown around here. And we had a chance to talk to him in a second, but first I spoke with the Chief Minister about this visit. Well, this is all about getting, I mean, the, this is the, the Lord Chancellor, the Secretary of State Minister for Justice, getting a really senior politician over to the Isle of Man and just seeing that the Isle of Man, what, what, what we're about, that we're, we're not just all our eggs in one basket, we're not all finance sector, we're glad to have the finance sector, but we also have a big manufacturing sector. We make about £100 million from the sale of our food and drink, £100 million from, um, the, sale, from the manufacturing specialist aircraft parts, etc. And it's getting that message to key politicians that when they come over, they maybe come over with a preconceived idea with bad press that the Isle of Man is all finance, whereas in fact it's only 34% and we have a widely diversified economy and it really, really helps when I'm away, if I'm dealing with politicians who've been over and seen the Isle of Man, then they are so much more understanding of what we're all about. How long has this been arranged for? Well, I, I invited um, the Lord Chancellor over a couple of months ago, and it's, um, you know, you have to keep these things secret from a security point of view, etc. But um, I've had to cancel an awful lot of meetings. It was short notice. But that's how these things work. And you've had time to talk to him you know, one to one. Oh yes, I, I've had. I, I picked him up from the airport last night. I had a meal with him last night. I've had a one to one this morning with him. It's been around the courts. Um, we've been to Swage Lock, it to the Creamery, and he'll be going around Timwold and meeting the Council of Ministers at lunchtime. You talk about the Paradise Papers, I'm guessing, and all the impact that had. Well, yes, we 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 discussed the impact of Brexit too. Obviously. Um, a very knowledgeable, senior politician, probably the most senior politician we've had to the Isle of Man in a long time, and incredibly influential, and listening to what he's got to say, you know, you really do pay attention. I please Chief Minister there, uh, obviously getting uh, this important guest over to the Isle of Man. So we talked with the Secretary of State, and this is what he had to say. Well, I've got um, responsibility in the British Government for uh, the Isle of Man and the other Crown dependencies, and linking them to the crown um, and um, so I wanted to come and see for myself I've not been to the island before um, to talk to the chief minister and his team um, about the impact of the UK leaving the EU and how we make sure that the Isle of Man's unique circumstances are taken properly into account in the UK's negotiations and are you doing that yes very much so I mean it's a point that I I make at cabinet and individually to cabinet colleagues don't forget the Isle of Man or the Channel Islands. But I've also been fascinated to come to the Creamery to get today, to go to Swage Lock and actually see the quality of some of the businesses here on the island. So I, I, I've learned a lot about the island and um, very impressed. I'm gathering you probably saw a certain programme on television, the Paradise Papers, and what do you make to all that and the implications for the Crown Dependency? Well, obviously, the Crown Dependencies, the Isle of Man, are independent jurisdictions of the United Kingdom. I think the good thing is that the Isle of Man is meeting international standards set by the OECD on financial reporting. Uh, and I know that the Chief Minister and his government are committed to strengthening that further.